Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our shoulders and biceps. Going to start with the greatest stretch and deep squat as part of our dynamic stretching routine and also as part of our warm up. Though we are going to warm up properly while performing the working set exercises for at least a couple of sets for 10 at least 10 to 15 repetitions just to warm up the joint and the muscles that area but dynamic stretching can be a great routine in terms of making sure you identify if there is any kind of mobility issues and also get your joints ready for the weightlifting sessions now you may want to if it's really necessary and if you want to want to do that you may do a 5 minute cardio but it's not necessary to do pre workout post workout it's a great way to end your workout and cool off go ahead and perform some cardio now post completing the dynamic stretching part i moved on to do a little bit of mobility work so this is something which i have been doing often nowadays is whenever i'm going to work on my shoulder muscles i incorporate some kind of mobility drills before i start with my weight lifting just to make sure my shoulders are nice and warmed up the entire joint and tight junction of muscles where the number of muscles running around are all i would say properly awake just for me to start with my weight lifting so that when i am doing some kind of weight lifting with one muscle the other muscle still keeps doing its job so one of the mobility drills or both of them which i have done was one is plate around my head rotations or they also call as the halos basically you rotate the plate around your head without moving your head much keeping your head as neutral as possible and the second one was the rotator cuff exercise just to warm up my posterior chain and get some internal and external rotation both of them going on to make sure the shoulder is primed up and ready for all the weight lifting make sure you include this especially if you have any kind of shoulder restrictions or pains for me as usual the most common my left shoulder is slightly uh, weaker than my right at least instable so i make sure i warm up properly now for the first exercise i'm going to start with dumbbell lateral raises here is what has happened today while i was performing this particular exercise i realized that my upper traps uh, or my entire upper back from my last back session was still not completely recovered so while doing the lateral raises i was feeling a lot of my traps i was trying to exclude them isolate them as much as possible by limiting my movement by changing the angle but sometimes it's not just going to work out so you need to make slight changes to make it happen i tried my best but still continued to do those dumbbell lateral raises nothing with heavy amount of weight kept the weight in control four sets 20 repetitions in a controlled manner as much as possible making sure the tempo is always under control i'm still not swinging the weights even though the connection which i wanted to feel on my shoulder muscle or the lateral muscles was not so accurate i said okay let's let me keep going you might prefer to do otherwise but this is something which it's a personal choice absolutely it's it it actually took me by surprise too that i did not recover completely and i was facing this particular challenge now post completing the lateral raises i moved on to a staple first exercise which is high cable curls three sets 20 repetitions with your arm placed in a stretched position remember to place the cable as high up as possible and once there you want to take the cable in your hand make sure the cable is in tension while your arm is completely stretched out so the cable is never resting out the weight is always creating that pull on your bicep muscle and rotate your body away from your bicep so creating that stretch feeling that slight squeeze in your back at your rear delt area at the arm which is holding on to the weight and start curling full range of motion control the reps if possible otherwise also it's okay because you're already working in a stretched position 20 repetitions make sure you swing from one arm to the other like i just did without taking a break if you want you can not take a break at all all together just move switch from one arm to the other but i tend to get or my muscles at least tend to get fatigue very quickly my biceps so i prefer to take a 30 second break before switching after completing both my arms 20 20 repetitions each now the exercise is pretty simple it's just that you have to focus and make sure your bicep is always in a stretch you might prefer to place the cable as you wish according to your height if you're really tall you need to you know bend down a little bit more post completing those i moved on to 
cable lateral races three sets 20 repetitions here again i was still not completely confident about my connection with my side delts it's maybe because just my just that my upper traps were kicking in so much and they were sore or they did not recover completely it was hard for me to feel that exact connect on my lateral muscles but i still went on to do because i was very sure about my positioning or my posture or the way i was doing them as you can see in a very controlled manner in as controlled as possible especially in the eccentric movement and creating that stretch also so three sets 20 repetitions you can also prefer to do this exercise one arm at a time you need not do it both arms at a time i just the cable crossover machine was free so i prefer to go ahead and do both my arms at a time save time save some time otherwise you can do one arm at a time switching from one arm to the other without taking a break and then you can take a 30 to 45 second break and again restart it it's absolutely fine make sure you try to go as high as possible and come down as get your arms across each other at least post completing those i took a break from the target or the main muscles and started working on my calf muscles basically straight leg calf raises on the leg press machine three sets 30 repetitions is something which i have mentioned here but i really lost the count after 25 repetitions i went as much as i could or manage the break in between i kept it really short 30 to 45 seconds now every time i mention break remember these are not exact figures you might want to take a longer break or a shorter break your break should usually be decided about that you should not be out of breath and you should feel good about going back to the exercise and your muscles also should be able to push as hard as possible in every set so these are the things you need to consider before ending your break and jumping onto if you don't feel any one of them if you're still out of breath if you don't still feel the energy or you still feel a lot of pain or soreness in the working muscle you might want to take a longer break but if you recover quickly you can quickly jump into the exercise and it also changes from muscle to muscle now for the next exercise i started going on with reverse grip curls simple take a straight barbell or an easy grip barbell easy curl barbell basically grip them slightly uh i would say narrow grip not completely narrow but a little bit inwards not uh, at your shoulder width but inside your shoulder width three sets 20 repetitions as much control as possible uh what i want you not to do is swing back control the swing back if you want you can stand against a wall and make sure that you don't swing back don't create any kind of uh pressure on your lower back so take a weight which you can control and curl uh, in full range of motion neatly uh, if you are uh, if you find yourself curling uh, as you curl up swinging back a lot or creating a over extension of your lower back then don't do that or stand against a wall to give yourself that support and feedback if you tend to lean back a lot post completing those i'm going to finish off the exercise bit with a overhead press say so, i have started doing this particular press on the available equipment in my gym if you don't have this particular equipment it's absolutely fine for you to do this on a simple barbell or dumbbells it just make sure that you slightly incline yourself or sit at an angle and then start pressing because i want to focus a little bit more on my front and lateral delts it's more of like doing a little bit more more there so as you can see i sit at a slanting position and put the pressure or the stretch on my front delts a lot more and as i push up my entire shoulder griddle the all the muscles in that junction starts working not so much of a raid delt worker because since i'm leaning onto the bench my raid delts really don't need to stabilize much and since it's an equipment based exercise the weight is not swinging much if you're doing with a dumbbell or a barbell you need a lot more control your raid delts and your back your posterior chain will jump in a lot here you can be a bit relaxed and focus more on the repetitions and that's it we're done with our exercising bit i'm going to finish off with a simple vertical hang to i would say at least consider decompressing my shoulders you can also do a couple of other decompressing basically leaning forward and just rotating your arm like making circles on the floor without touching the floor creating that uh decompression in your shoulders you can do that too i have done that in my previous videos otherwise yes we are done with our exercises i hope the workout was good for you as you worked along 
and make sure if you, you did like the video please do drop a like if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe and any feedback in the comment section is greatly appreciated i will see you in the next video till then have a good day i hope you had a great workout take care